let me start by setting the scene for you. The other day I was in a management team call and we were going through the normal motions, talking about the business and things like that. And somebody asked, could you hear me now? Which is not uncommon in every single Teams meeting calls you have. But when I put my thumb up, a interesting thing happened. A thumb symbol appeared next to my head. Now I thought this was a Teams feature and I didn't think much of it. I was pretty amazed. But then later on, somebody asked something else and I wanted to show I was pretty excited. So I gave two thumbs up. And when I did, fireworks came up in my camera. Everybody on the call was amazed. They said, Matt, how did you do that? I didn't know. And I put my thumbs up again and bang, there it was. And the rest of the team all started to put their thumbs up as well and nothing happened. Now I hadn't done anything special, but I guess the one thing I did recently was upgrade my Apple Mac laptop to Mac OS Sonoma. And by doing so, I uncovered a new capability which I guess had been advertised, but I hadn't actually realized was called Reactions. And Reactions is a feature of the operating system to enable a visualization of what you're trying to project on camera. Now, in most instances, we actually see this demonstrated through Apple software such as FaceTime. But obviously, because Teams utilizes the same camera software in their own application, those capabilities come forward into Teams. And this gives you a whole range of different emotions that you can demonstrate through visualization on the camera. So as an example, you can have thumbs up, which will give you that nice little thumbs up overlay. You can have confetti, which I guess is a mess. You can have big fireworks even. What about lasers from a rock concert? Maybe you're celebrating and you wanna have some balloons. I love how they go all the way around you. Then if you really want to show affection, the love hearts. And then finally, if you're feeling sad, you've got rain as well. But let's stick with fireworks, it's better. So I love this feature. This capability to be able to visualize the emotion you're having or the reaction you're feeling is incredible. And it really captures the moment of what you're doing. Now I did notice that in the help information or the feature documentation, there is discussion of the need for a continuity camera and those sorts of capabilities. My test environment, well, this one here right now, I am using an iPhone to utilize as the camera for my laptop, which is probably continuity camera. But at work, I typically have my laptop in a closed mode uh, in clamshell sitting by the side of my monitor and I utilize a Logitech Brio 4K camera and this capability worked exactly the same as well. So it does work in most environments. You don't have to have your laptop open. You can have it in a closed mode at a desktop and really uh, emphasize what you're trying to get across. So I'm really excited about this feature. Um, I hope you give it a go as well. It's a lot of fun and definitely gets people engaged onto calls. Uh, I'll leave links to the documentation below and also a link to the article which I'll go into a little bit more detail. Thanks for joining me.